Man, this sucks. But before we get into that, we have our channel's first ever sponsor, which is VTuber Agency Idol. Now, Idol has an amazing lineup of very talented VTubers from their first ever group, He. However, Idol has recently released a new teaser video for their first ever English generation called Isekai. This is a very beautifully animated teaser video, and as of right now, they do not have a debut date in mind. However, they are coming soon. In the description, you can find the link to Idol's website, or you can go to idol-company.com forward slash e dash sekai and there you can actually find the debut teaser up on the screen but you'll also be able to learn more about idol what they offer to the vtuber community and what they are doing for their talents as well now on to our topics as we have a situation coming out from a vtuber by the name of milky waves who is a vtuber that uploads a lot of asmr content over on youtube and also streams on twitch milky tweeted out earlier today youtube has updated their policy that now targets certain channels for their content if it crosses a line to what they deem as sexually gratifying content including including ASMR and titles even used in ASMR. They also now do not allow any links that will link to 18 plus content. And it shows the policy here that says the policy now allows more sex and nudity in fictional and scripted content and educational content. It must be in the proper context and not quote, cross the line of sexually gratifying content. It also prohibits more sexual sounds in ASMR content, sexually explicit images, including thumbnails, avatars, banners, and posts, and sex toys in use. Content uploaded before September 7th that violates this policy may be removed but not result in a strike. YouTube also noted that it is against YouTube policy to link to sites that feature pornography or otherwise violates YouTube's community guidelines. We had Milky adding on to this saying if you have an 18 plus Patreon that features any kind of sexually gratifying content such as NSFW ASMR or artwork it still falls under that so you will have to remove those links as to not get any issues. There is also possibility of just straight up termination as well. With Milky also adding on saying big rip for people have sensual sounding voices now naturally because they can just deem that sexually gratifying. Any kind of memes that are revolving around sex because it's funny. Even games that share some scenes that would be okay on Twitch will now not be on YouTube. So this is a very annoying and dumb change that YouTube has made because now a lot of ASMR VTubers are likely going to get struck in or banned off of the platform because we've already seen this happening in the past. Like with ASMR YouTuber Darling Strop having their entire channel demonetized probably because they are an ASMR channel. Thankfully their channel has been allowed to re-monetize since then. However, it was very upsetting to see them unable to monetize their content for a month until YouTube allowed them to reapply for monetization. But we've also seen similar things happen with Niji Sanji members like Mashiro, who had their entire YouTube channel terminated for we don't even really know. A lot of people, including myself, speculate that it could likely be due to the ASMR content that they did on their channel as well, since around that time, YouTube was also making policy changes about that to protect children on YouTube, even though they have YouTube kids. To this day, Mashiro never had their channel reinstated with Niji Sanji having to make an entirely new channel for them to stream on. And just yesterday, we did see Niji Sanji and Scarlet Yonaguni having an issue with their thumbnail. With Scarlet tweeting out, totally didn't just get demonetized midstream, probably for my thumbnail. LOL, here's a new one, Susan. And I cannot show the previous thumbnail on the video, but it wasn't even really too lewd at all. The stream likely could have been demonetized because they were testing out a new ASNR mic, which could be due to these new policies. YouTube did respond to this tweet though, saying that the video was already monetizing, so maybe everything got fixed there. But these changes with YouTube worry me for a lot of whole alive and Niji Sanji members or just VTubers in general that do ASMR content sometimes. Sarah's Fauna, I believe, does ASMR content at least once a month, and are we going to start seeing issues arise with that content? Will it get her banned? What's going to happen? Same for other Niji Sanji members, are they going to get banned for this? Or are they going to receive strikes? We don't really know what's going to happen. It's very worrying for that reason, but it's also worrying for the reason that you can't even link your Patreon at this point if it has anything NSFW inside of it. So a lot of anime YouTubers or YouTubers in general that may have an NSFW segment in a video, but they blur it on YouTube's side, but on the Patreon side, they allow them to see it. They're not allowed to link that anymore. And if they do link it, then the video could potentially get removed or them terminated for doing so. It's not 100% clear what's going to get you banned and what's not. That's really the issue with all of these updates that YouTube continues to make to their platform. I mean, YouTube isn't the only platform that has a lot of these issues as we've also had VT YouTubers like Sunhi tweeting out, I'm going to take a break from streaming. Everything is just messed up right now, and now my TikTok was banned for I have no idea what. My mental health is in a bad spot, and I just need some time to breathe. I will return on the 15th, showing that their TikTok account got banned for absolutely no reason, and we have seen countless VTubers getting hit with these bans on TikTok for no reason at all. And we also saw yesterday Uniho getting banned on Twitch after their debut for absolutely no reason, for maybe showing, quote, nudity during their lore video, but they didn't, so 
there was no reason for them to get banned. We've also seen other VTubers get banned on Twitch for the dumbest things that should not have gotten them banned, when other creators can do worse things and only get banned for a short amount of time. Thankfully, Unis was only for a day, but still, she got banned nonetheless. There is one section of this policy that could be good that says the policy now allows more sex and nudity in fictional and scripted content and educational content. It must be in the proper context and not quote cross the line of sexually gratifying content. So what that could possibly mean is VTubers or anime YouTubers that talk about and show lewd things on screen can get away with it a little more than they used to. Or for example, Marine's music video should never have an issue in the future. You know, the treasure box one that showed a lot of things on the screen but because it's fictional, she should really never have issue with it. It's also a music video, so we should never see any problems arise from that case. Unless YouTube starts breaking down more on VTuber and animated content, and that would really suck. I'm not entirely sure, but let me know what you guys think about this entire thing. As we also have some news coming out from Whole Lives Mori Calliope, who was celebrating her second anniversary today, tweeting out fun surprises for you guys, new things, debut reaction, reaction, and some announcements too. And during this stream, we got a brand new starting soon slash standby screen from Callie, as well as these new emotes to her left, and we had Callie reacting to herself reacting to her debut from last year. But we also had Callie tweeting out happy two year anniversary, the world continuation from One Piece film Red, a cover of this song. So if you want to check that out, the link for it will be in the description for you to do so. We also had Watson Amelia of Whole Alive Ian tweeting out myth anniversary, be there or be round, a special live immersive experience. Starting today at 6 p.m. EST, so as you watch this video, it's probably live right now. Ame did say in the video above she was spinning around in her chair for it, so I really hope she didn't get too nauseous. We did have Gargura saying happy birthday, Myth, so happy anniversary to all of the Hololive Myth members. It has been an amazing two years with them, and I cannot wait to see them continue to grow, and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us tonight. We also had Hololive Production tweeting out, Oro Crony has reached 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. Huge congratulations to her for reaching that milestone. I do want to give a huge thank you to Idol for sponsoring today's video. I am beyond happy that this channel's first ever sponsor comes from none other than a VTuber agency, but specifically a VTuber agency that I have been following for quite some time now, ever since their original debuts. Like I mentioned earlier, they already have an amazing lineup of talented VTubers, but I cannot wait for them to debut their Isekai branch. I would really love to see Idol continue growing, so please again if you can, go to the link in the description or the top of the comments to view their new teaser trailer for Isekai. Speaking of milestones though, we do have some new coming out from Shy Lily, who has reached 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Huge congratulations to her for reaching that. She is halfway to 1 million. Speaking of 500k though, we did have Axel's first ever cover reaching 500,000 views on it. Huge congratulations to him. That's all for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed yesterday's news, please click the button to my left or right and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.